was still, it was quiet. I was bored, nothing was happening. Yet somehow there was chaos at the centre of all that was lacking. I was restless. My thoughts were only concerned with, well, breakfast. It felt like the last time I ate, I'm sure it wasn't, was broiled fish. The day I touched the scarred hands and feet. The day my faith didn't seem so foolish. I had been disbelieving and I was wondering when we all saw something, something of hope restored and resurrection power, too overwhelming to resist, right in front of our eyes, eating fish. At Bethany, after the blessing and not before we were told to wait, Jesus ascended. Scars faded out of sight. And despite all my concerns that this was a second ending, and hope had also ascended way beyond my grasp and carried on ascending. Despite all that, we returned to Jerusalem, full of joy, full of worship, full of wonder, full of heaven, full of love, full of blessing, full of peace, unending. Until it ended, nine days later, in an upper room, I wouldn't say it was full of gloom. It wasn't full of anything, it was empty. We weren't bleak or dismayed, we weren't even afraid. But for me at least, I was running on empty. I missed the broiled fish and touching scars. Then the void was gone and the emptiness was full. A noise like breath, if it was God breathing, on our heads tongues of fire cleaving, and peace and blessing and love and heaven and wonder and worship and joy unceasing. No, really unceasing. It's hard to follow Jesus without the Spirit, his breath inside our bodies, life-giving Spirit. <laughs>